Today's video, we're gonna talk about Shopify payments or AKA Shop Pay, whether or not you wanna use that instead of to process your customer's payments through Stripe or PayPal or Authorized Net, which is obviously using your own merchant account to process orders. Uh, there definitely are pro, pros and cons to using ShopPay versus these other options here, but by and large, it's way, way better to use ShopPay anymore with the major, you know, the, the scales are tipped to the, to the positives versus more so the negatives today. With Shopify is stack the deck. Uh, in other words, make it so that most people just want to go with ShopPay because obviously they want that because they get the, all the data and all the processing fee to themselves. So, but then I'm gonna go through what these reasons are by using shop payments. You're gonna make more money from your Shopify traffic or traffic you're driving to your site than you were gonna do processing orders elsewhere, even if you were to get a better rate on your processing fees. Uh, with the stuff that you, know, you get as a benefit, you know, through having Shopify payments and what they give you with that, essentially, it's gonna outweigh saving a half of a percent on your credit card processing fees going that general route. So anyway, I'll, I'll explain why that is and, and get right into the content here. So there are two major reasons, should I say three, I meant to update this. There's three major reasons, sorry. Uh, Shopify payments makes more money than using any other way to take payments on Shopify, whether you're using PayPal, or Stripe account, or Authorized Net, which is a, you know, basically it's the number one payment gateway that you can use to process payments through any merchant account that you may use. With that said, the major, major advantage here that you have with Shopify payments, if you're driving Google Ads traffic or Facebook traffic at your site to make that stuff pay off, you're gonna get a higher ROI from that ad traffic that you're gonna ultimately drive to your site or are already are driving to your site through the one-click ordering that Shopify Payments is going to allow you by having it enabled on your account versus not enabled. Because the longer, so there's a whole general premise with making more money online through online marketing and through websites, marketing websites. The harder you make the user think, the less the ROI on the traffic you drive to your site you're gonna get. This, there's a book called uh, Don't Make Me Think that was put out 20 years ago at this point in time that I read when I first started doing internet marketing back then. That got me warmed up as to, that was the framework of everything else I learned. If you can make things more simple for the user, you're gonna make more money you're gonna get a higher conversion rate on the traffic you get to your site. So, obviously making things easier can be less confusing. That's one way to make things easier, but the other is less physical clicks, less physical actions. If you don't have to press in, put in your credit card information, that's a major, major advantage to the consumer. That's why Amazon got as big as they have. You don't, you got your credit card saved with them. Of course that, and they refer products that you think you would like based upon other products that you like, that's a big part of it as well. But the bigger thing was literally all they had was the fact that you don't have to go give your credit card information to a random company to every time you want a little this or that. And so Shopify's brought that to Shopify's platform. And with 120 million Shopify users in the United States or Shopify payment users in the United States, one in three people basically now, they got that same Amazon effect going on, i.e. people like to use sites that use Shopify because they don't have to enter the credit card information because it's all saved. Because they've signed up for Shop Pay on the consumer side, with, so with one button click, they can pay for the order or the items in your, in your shopping cart that they put in their shopping cart or your shopping cart without having to put their credit card information in because it's already saved in Shop Pay from earlier and when you go through the Shopify system once it allows you to save your information so that the next time you go through another Shopify based website it's already there for you as long as you put your email and phone number in so 
what it is that one click ordering process once you've ordered from Shopify once and you've opted into that system I've seen this multiple times now where you'll get at least 10% less card abandonment rates than you had before ie card abandonment meaning of the people that get to your cart so you drive traffic to your site a certain percentage get to your cart the percentage of people that get to your cart that end up actually successfully completing their order you'll have 10 to 20 percent more people get through the shopping cart and successfully complete their order if you're using shop pay because of this one click ordering process that automatically you get from most people that are going to go through the cart because most people are signed up for it the one click ordering itself that makes it easier for the user and then ultimately end up with 10 20 percent more orders for the percentage of people that actually get to the cart itself or in other words, you could say you'll get another 10% ROI or 20% ROI from your marketing campaigns just by simply having Shopify payments enabled on your site, which that in and itself makes all the difference. You're paying 10 grand a month in advertising per month and you could shave that off, bring that down to 8,500 a month to get the same sales. Obviously, you wanna use, sh which basically what is what you're dealing with. Shopify payments make sense with that one thing alone. By the way, if you're not using Shopify yet, just from switching from regular, a regular old shopping cart, with, if you're using uh, Magento or another shopping cart, we found just by swif switching to Shopify itself, forget about Shopify payments, will increase the, uh, or sorry, should I say, decrease the cart abandonment rate that you're gonna have by 5% or right around that range. So if you're not using Shopify now, and then you went right to Shopify payments, you can get a good 20 or even 25% reduction in ca uh, card abandonment rates using Shopify payments. When you went from non-Shopify website, uh, a non-Shopify based website to Shopify with Shopify payments. So anyway, that's the big one right here that why you want to use this, even if you're getting a lesser, you know, a better deal on your processing rates, through having a merchant account where you've hard negotiated, found the merchant account that's gonna give you a great rate uh, and, and whatnot there. Um, I didn't even write down on this list, by the way, but obviously Shopify will give you a loan on your future credit card payments at, a, at almost basically no, uh, uh, little to no interest which is another side benefit of using Shopify payments, which I'm gonna assume that you guys don't need that, but if you did need it, that's another side benefit. So, but beyond that, the other second biggest thing though, that you're gonna get with Shopify payments, and this isn't gonna help everybody, which is why I put it second, but you get this charge back protection. If you, I've seen a lot of people, and there's a lot of markets, like if you sell electronics, anything where you sell that's a hot commodity that's that a lot of people want that can easily be sold on eBay, let's say it used. You're gonna get hit with lots of credit card fraud from people doing credit card fraud. You know, they clone, they steal credit card numbers, they go ahead and buy shit on your site, they're gonna to try to load their card up, buy, and you're gonna be sit there wondering if you haven't experienced this experienced this before, do I process this order or do I not? If I turn it down, it's potentially a thousand dollars worth of purchasing uh, items here. Um, but if I do ship out and I find out this credit card stolen, I lost a thousand dollars. So you always got to weigh the bigger purchases at least. Do you want to actually, is it too risky or not to ship or not? I've seen people get totally hosed on this before and there's no clear way. Even if you say the shipping address has to be the same as the billing address, uh, that in itself isn't a foolproof method. A lot of times you just can't tell. You're always going to have a certain amount of risk, particularly with bigger purchases, i.e. people buying multiple items through your cart like that. No matter what, unless you're using Shopify payments, which they give you chargeback protection, where they don't charge you for the chargeback fee, and then they'll make sure that you aren't affected by chargeback fraud at all, to the point where, you know, basically you'll get your money no matter what, okay? So that in itself is huge, depending on what market you're in. Third of all, there's no transaction fees if you use Shopify Pay versus there's a two, actually a 0.5 to 
2% transaction fee for every transaction that you process through your Shopify shopping cart system if you are using any other payment provider other than Shopify payments, which obviously encourages everybody to use Shopify payments or that's what they were thinking of. And uh, I mean, that takes a big wet bite out of some of you guys' profit margins right then and there just from that alone. So obviously you're probably at 0.5% if you've upgraded to the highest plan, but that's still another half a percent that you don't get out of your transaction volume by not by using a merchant account or using a Stripe account versus Shop Pay. So those are the main things though, why you basically need to use, Shop, not want, but need to use Shopify payments because you're gonna lose way more money using something else, even if it gets a better credit card processing rate or you like it better or whatever than you had before. What I will say uh, as a small side is if you're switching to Shopify and you ultimately are generating a lot of revenue already and you were doing it through a merchant account before and you're thinking about switching to Shopify payments, you may have some issues just when you go to Shopify payments to immediately start processing 300 grand a month through Shopify payments. Communicate with Shopify ahead of time, explain your situation so you don't run into issues. Beyond that though, as a, that all said, everything I just said here, I would still add Google Pay, Amazon Pay, PayPal, uh, two as second, secondary, tertiary payment options on your shopping cart. Why? Because different people have different methods of prefer, preferred methods to pay. It's just like, uh, to give you an analogy here, if you drive people to your website and you only have a phone number but you don't have a live chat, if you're expecting and you knew you had to talk to customers before they're willing to buy, you only have the phone number, no chat, there's a certain percentage of people that will not call, but they like chatting, that you're gonna then lose a certain percentage of your orders not having the chat available, even though they could call. Because there's certain people just will not call. And then vice versa, if you only had the chat, but no phone number, there's certain people that just aren't gonna dick around with live chat. They don't trust it, they don't like it, they don't want it. So as it comes to communication with you, the more forms of communication you offer, the higher the percentage of people that are gonna to decide to communicate with you, talk to your sales department, whatever. So I, for my businesses, because I own a few, uh, biz, other than my ad agency, I own uh, other businesses as well. We're loading up the site with as many communication methods as the, you know, mainstream ones as we can. The chat, the phone number, the email, uh, we're also going to you know, text us a question. That's getting to be more popular all the time. But So that's for, with that analogy understood, this pay, the payments are the same way. There are certain people that just want to use Amazon Pay. So that's why you offer it. And if you don't have Amazon Pay, they're not, you're not going to get the order. But not only that, shop, Amazon Pay makes it so you don't have to you know, obviously enter your credit card in. Just the barrier of having to enter your credit card in, in again, you're, you're, you're losing 10 to 20% of your orders, but a lot of people don't want to enter their credit card and they don't want to use Shopify payments to not have to enter their credit card in. They want to use Amazon Pay to not enter their credit card in because the last Shopify site they went to, they didn't go through shop, the shop, shopping cart itself. They went through Amazon Pay, which means they never had a Shop Pay account, which means they only have to not enter their credit card information if you have Amazon Pay available, if you follow my, my thing there. So anyway, offer these other options for express payment. And even though it's a bit of a conundrum to manage all that technically, you're gonna lose orders if you don't have it. I guarantee you that. I know because I've seen people make this mistake as well at my agency. Offer the other quick payment options, not just Shopify payments for the same reason why it increases the profitability of ad campaigns when you have shop pay because of the one-click ordering and it decreasing uh, card abandonment rates. Same thing happens when you have these other payment options and it, your card abandonment will actually decrease the more pay of these payment options you offer. So you're stacking your gains essentially. So anyway, with that said, that's pretty much everything I could tell you about Shopify payments, why you want to basically use it, why you basically need to use it nowadays to be competitive in your market. When you're trying to beat people running Google ads, 
or Facebook ads, the person in your market who can afford to pay more for a customer in terms of advertising cost per acquisition of per customer wins. And the easiest way to be able to pay more than anybody else is having a better mousetrap, a better funnel. This is one way to just have a major edge on your competition. When you have shop pay, the competition doesn't because you have less waste of the traffic that you are driving into the site that won't buy. You know, more people buy out of the people who drive to your site. So anyway, with that said, I'll wrap it up with that though. Um, if you have any questions about anything I covered today or any advertising related question, because this is basically what this channel is about, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. With that said, uh, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you would give the video a like, if you found it valuable. And if you found this video valuable, you'll certainly find my other videos on this channel valuable that which the primary primary premise of this channel is how to use online advertising to make money millions of dollars of revenue in your business per year using google ads facebook ads and so forth coming from somebody who just strategizes ads and using ad strategy for clients to make more money on their campaigns all day long this is my sole job therefore it's the best most accurate information you can basically find online because I don't do anything else besides develop ad strategy for clients all day long, and we guarantee results for our clients on top of that. So as opposed to somebody selling courses that has a YouTube channel, it's 50 times better than the information you're gonna find elsewhere along those lines. So you should definitely pay attention to what we have. If you wanna, that's what you're trying to do is build advertising campaigns that actually make money. I also have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog where you can also find advice from myself on how to make money in written form if you prefer that and i also have a column at entrepreneur.com where you can also follow my writing and get ideas on how to make money with ads the latest greatest techniques and strategies and so forth there as well coming from myself and like my you know just like my blog my my writing on entrepreneur is along the same lines so you may want to check that out as well if you are looking for the best ad manager to help you take what you have take the reins on it and just scale you or get a campaign profitable for you i'd love to hear from you if you reach out to my firm at guaranteeppz.com i'll give you a free analysis of look and look at what you have and see if we can work together i don't work with just any client but if you have a great product or service that looks like it will really do well i'll put my money where my mouth is and get you some sales results on your campaign up front before taking any payment this is a signature thing that i do at my ad firm Nobody else does this. We should tell you the difference in quality of the advice I provide versus what other people provide. And so if you're interested in that, reach out to me. Uh, even if though, if you aren't looking to work with an ad agency and an ad partner to just pull, you know, take your campaigns and run them and get you more results, you can actually reach out and see if we've worked in your industry before. And if we have, you can actually take the ad templates that we made for your industry that already work. So, for instance, if you're a plumber, we've worked in the plumbing industry, we've built up ex excellent results for the plumbing services space. You could take the ad templates, landing page templates, campaign templates that work for the, that industry and to get the results that we're getting, copy and paste those results into your account and get turnkey results without all the hard work and time and money we had to put in to figure out what works in that space really, really well something that's been optimized for years you get basically day one just because you have the carbon copy of what we have in that industry so a lot of people are taking advantage of this to start up other businesses and then outsource the work to somebody and take a float off the top in terms of a profit margin and which is a really cool business idea passive business passive income business idea that you can run but anyway if you're interested in that reach out to me and i'll let you know first of all if we've worked in your market so and if we have a template available that works in your space and what the results would be up front if you were to use those templates. I can tell you that information up front as well. So reach out to me if you're inter interested in that as well. But beyond that, I'll pretty much wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you saw a lot of value in it and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.